What's up, YouTubes? Mountain Man Magic here, and we got a lot of random packs. And I got random packs, and I noticed I got some sleeves laying around, not doing much, and it just had me thinking that I've been neglecting my duties of getting my cards into the proper protection. And this is a self-help video for anyone out there just wondering how to sleeve cards correctly. I'll try and keep it to like a minimum 20-30 minutes, but I know all of you out there who have been through this before know it's quite the rabbit hole to go down. So first, for all the newbies out there, you just, you got to understand that when you have a pack, I mean the cards are already sleeved. This is a premium fitted 15 card sleeve, right? So in a way, you're taking them out of one home into a new one. So let's just take a second, breathe that in. So we're, we're just going to pick one of these packs. We'll do the Emonquet just because we'll, we'll save these for another day, yeah. We want to keep this humane. So step one, we got it. We're understanding that they're already sleeved. Step two, you know, we got to understand that we're taking them into a new home. So we want to be precise, you know, surgical precision. We want to make sure that we're opening these in a very humane manner. I prefer knife and cutting board. See, look at that. Nice and easy, no mess. Makes sense, right? Now, clearly, I've done this before, so... I might make it look easier than your first, you know, three or four boxes. But don't let it, you know, intimidate you. And now we're going to go through. And what we're just going to do is try and admire the art. We're going to admire just the blessing that this pack has been, the sacrifice it's made for us and our collection. Um, and really the third step is accepting responsibility for these cards. They're coming into our collection. Let's see what we got. Throne of the God Pharaoh. That's sleeve worthy. And a full art. Oh my god. The full art forest. How do you not sleeve that? Right? Okay, yeah. So, we got two cards that need to get sleeved. So, step four. Let's just do a quick insanity check. All right. Oh, wasn't expecting this. Sleeves come in another sleeve. I mean, these hundred sleeves came in the perfect hundred sleeve holder. Right, so we just got to understand that we're taking one thing, right, that's kind of empty and alone, and we're pairing it with another thing that's cold and scared, right, and then we put them together, quick insanity check, if you go, oop, oop, bottom to top, you know, maybe you and I could meet in a public place, that seems okay, but if you go top to bottom like this, you're insane, Okay. I'm just doing that, that like makes me all jittery just doing that. I'm just doing that as a PSA. Don't sleeve your cards like this. I mean, people are going to look at you weird. Your family's going to wonder what where they went wrong. And you just don't want to put that kind of weight on someone, right? So this is a really funky looking cutting board. But I just think you need to have, I mean, this is, this is my dedicated card pack opening cutting board. You might just want to get one of your own. That's okay. Uh, the fifth step to really properly sleeving cards is to not not overthink it. I mean, it's easy to, to jump into the rabbit hole like I've done, but really, sleeving theory, it's a passion of mine. And I just think, at the end of the day, we're all just people on this big spinning rock trying to find our way. You know, and if we can make the journey a little easier, why not? Okay, so here's here's our cards. I think I gave you the Spark Notes version. Again, if you have any questions, you want to get more in depth with it, let me know. But let's let's go a little bit deeper, shall we? We're we're living in the mountains, mountain man magic, right? There's a lot of elements out there. So when you're sleeving your cards, you gotta be prepared for literally anything. You gotta be resourceful. So here's a couple bonus tips that I have found living in the mountains. Okay? Anything can be a sleeve, really, right? Like we got our properly sleeved cards. We're just going to fix this guy real quick because we don't want to be crazy, right? Get our YouTube video reported before we even have our fifth subscriber. <laughs> uh, whew. Yeah, so what are some alternatives to sleeving cards? That's what, that's what I'm wondering. Maybe you're wondering. Now, this might get a little noisy, but I got a couple things that when I was really, really struggling to, I guess, understand the proper sleeving technique... You know, I, I just found my own way, and I'm just here to give you guys some shortcuts. So number one, grocery bags. Now, yeah, it might take your eyes a little bit to adjust, but it's really not that difficult. 
especially once you just get used to it. You know, there's one card. Here, ooh, we'll take this guy. Look at that. I mean, and honestly, you just shuffle these guys up real quick. Boom. They stay relatively where you left them. And then when you start playing, pick it up. Yeah, again, it'll take your eyes some time to adjust. Never take them out of the bag, because then you kind of defeat the purpose of it. But just want to show, look, it can be done. Okay? Next, I was just sitting at the schoolyard. Boom, lunch bags. Now you might think this is crazy, how you didn't think of it before. But yeah, there's still plenty of room in there for a sandwich. Just zip lock that bad boy up. Waterproof, um, hunger proof, easy peasy. And now the best part too is that these things are cheap. I mean, you can get a pack of these, like 90. I think I got 90 for like four bucks. You, know, you shuffle them up. Boom. Tell me that doesn't work. That's perfect. Next we got, I think... Uh, is a pretty unknown fact in the magic community is saran wrap it was actually the original sleeve first ever sleeve a lot of people just don't realize it uh, it's really easy to work with super effective um, and what's great is that you can kind of customize your sleeves too if you're someone who likes them a little bit longer really easy to do that uh, honestly it's fun for all ages you know there's no age limit on this unlike the actual magic cards themselves which say 13 plus boom now yeah it might be a little like difficult if it's sticking together but pros and cons you know pros and cons to each approach draw look at that you can read it no problem once you just get the crinkles out of the way okay Still not convinced. Here's the last one. And I think the most uh, rewarding. I'm sure the sound isn't going to be great, but you'll get used to it. So really what I like about using aluminum foil is that I'm telling you right now, it's definitely the most rewarding way to sleeve your deck. Right? Like, it might take some time. It's definitely a labor of love. But once you get all 60 cards wrapped up, I mean... Folks, tell me this is not worth your time and effort. We'll just get one more in here, just just to really nail nail the point, drive that point home. Got it. See, and then you take these, space saving, super super effective, super efficient. You shuffle them up, and then just think every turn. Ooh, what's in my What's in my sleeve? What kind of present do I have waiting for? Ooh, perfect card. Now, yeah, it might be a little annoying if you have to mulligan or something doesn't go quite right on the shuffling. Um, opponents may not be super, I guess, well-read in these because I just think a lot of the Magic community is blind to all the options available to us when it comes to sleeving cards. But I just hope this helps further the discussion. You know, it just helps us all expand our mind a little bit, think outside the box. And at the end of the day, we're just trying to protect our investment, right? We're trying to protect these cards. And you shouldn't be limited by just these, you know, cookie cutter, professionally made sleeves. You know? These decks are ex extensions of us. And if this is who you are, tinfoil wrapped card, then you be your tinfoil wrapped card. So I just hope this, uh, this PSA really helped you. If you have any other tips that you want me to try, let me know in the comments. If you have a second, I wouldn't mind that little like, subscribe action. End of the day, just hope life's treating you all well. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.